right, guys, before we get the video started, I do want to let you know about our Patreon page. Uh, head over there if you're interested in some more in-depth video on the engine. Uh, just a lot more updates and stuff going on over there. Uh, so if you're interested in checking that out, it's patreon.com slash old number seven. I'll link it down below and I'll put you a little link right here too. Uh, check that out if you're, uh, like I said, if you're interested in a little bit more old number seven, head over there and check out our fan page. We appreciate you and let's get this video started. I'm excited to hear this baby rip. Howdy, howdy guys. How's everybody doing out there today? Well, here in the old number seven garage today, we are getting real close to getting a phone call from Jimmy Owens. Yep, hang on a minute. All right, now we got Jimmy Owens lined out. He's looking for a secret setup. But, uh, I told him I didn't have anything, but I did read his book, the Captain Insano book. So I told him just to revert back to that. Uh, anyway, we are, man, we are that close to getting this engine started up. And we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to start it today. We're going to take you guys along for the ride. So anyway, let's uh, get our Maxima coolant in there this is uh off-road ultra coolant and uh, maxima is a big part of the team this year uh it's one of the uh, manufacturers that i didn't mention in the last video but they are uh definitely going to be part of the team oil brake fluid coolant uh cleaning supplies especially that sc1 and that spray wax bio wash that's that freaking sc1 smells awesome um but yeah, we're, we're going to get that poured in here because, I mean, we've got everything just about buttoned up. we got our old headers on here off the B-Mod. So that's just, you know, we ain't going to... I mean, I guess if we had to race, we'd run. It, it guarantee you it'd go down the road. Um, but we're we're working with Mark over at Schoenfeld to get our headers done. Got the brakes bled. But, man, we are that close. Got to put some fuel in it, some coolant, and crank her up. See how she does. Um, anyway, so let's... Let's get on with that. I'll set you up here and we'll get some coolant put in it. So this stuff here is actually what they use in like their trophy trucks and the off-road stuff. I mean, it's bad to the bone. I think it's got a boiling point of like 290 degrees. So it's, I think it freezes at 15. So we're good now. We shouldn't have any more cold spells. That cold. Yeah, that cold anyway. And even so, it still doesn't get even when it's like zero outside, it doesn't, it might get 30, 28. Anyway, so we got a funnel here. We'll uh, start pulling that in. Got the radiator hose. We took it off real quick like. I'm going to help him get that set up and we're going to start filling this sucker up because we're starting this. That's really hard for them to see. Anyway, a little in there. Let's see if we can see in here. A little in there. No leaks to speak of yet. Other than that leak on the other side of that drain pan. We are, oh, that's kind of like where we like to run it. A couple inches down. Ain't much, that, if you think that, that that's higher than that, wouldn't you say? So maybe we put, you want to pour just a little bit more in it and see if we can. The ladder once you run it, we'll check it. Yeah, it shouldn't have an air pocket in it now. I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. Well, the next thing we got to do is <laughs> go out to the trailer and go like fuel, pump some fuel and yeah, buddy. Fun stuff. So we're going to run out there real quick and get the fuel. We're going to run VP Blue as per chad's recommendation so clean all this stuff off <laughs> we probably need to drop the old car down because it's real high but i like to check for leaks too so we'll see what we can do it's good to have it up where you can crawl underneath of it you know and look at all your stuff so we're going to clean all this stuff off get the back cleaned off get some fuel and then we'll come back and holler at you and see how close we're getting tell me what movie it is Put the old comment down below. We're heading out to the trailer. 
Go get some fuels. We got a pumper out there? Should have. Ooh, it's almost dark. Still got a pile of snow. It did melt a lot today. Better get him. Get him. Die. Uh, got him. <laughs> Rolled him. <laughs> Them dogs, man, they are vicious. Whew, I'll be glad to get in there. Maybe it'll be a little warmer. Got the heat on in here? Yeah. No. Huh? Turn it on. <laughs> All right, very dark. Did you bring a flashlight? No, I didn't. Ah. I got a real bright one right here. All right, we're going to get some fuel out of this and hopefully uh, see what we're doing. Flat. Wow, man, I ain't seen that in a minute. Hey, it's still here, though. Yep. Yeah. Hey, where's the motor at? You got that Come motor? On, that you, got, you got one? Yeah. Okay. And you smell it. It smells just about like that other stuff. So. And it's definitely blue. Anybody got a pee? You will have to. <laughs> I always do, every time. So we got a little bit of late model plus left and hey, that's pretty nice Chad says it's a Good idea to run the VP blue in the engine, but we can go ahead and just kind of mix that stuff in blend it and get rid of it So I think we got about 20 gallon of that So we'll start off with a I guess we'll do like a 50 50 So get 20 gallon in it to start with Maybe you can just put five of this and five of the other just for now. Right. And we ain't got to put a ton in it. Five gallons of fuel. We'll see you back in the shop. Wow. This is nice in here, bud. It's quite the reach. Well. Uh. Good old funnel, been good to us for about 10 or 11 years, ain't it? Make sure we ain't leaking nothing nowhere. Don't see nothing yet. No leaks on the floor, other than that one. So far, so good. Yeah, that one is standard. We're getting ready to fire this hot dog up. Is that the blue? Yep. Yeah, that's the actual blue right there. Don't look much different. Really Still don't. smells good. Yep. That's my favorite smell. So anybody wondering, yes, we do have the special vent in there for the super bowl yeah. carb do you actually like this stuff this stuff's awesome Good. talking about the hot bologna that stuff is awesome all right so tells us right there we got about right about 10 gallon in it just a little over so that's pretty cool oh look there's even a better one right there that's real neat bud oh somebody was asking in the last video about our bumper situation so yet again we got another uh it's a buddy of mine a uh, racing buddy he has a company called Wingeter fabrication and he's building our nose supports front bumpers door bars rear bumpers he's building all those for us getting us some spares going so that's why our bumpers are missing and uh another good company i didn't talk about is uh see these rod ends right here what, what kind of you guys like? Um, for years, FK has been a standard for all of us racers. And uh, here in the shop, no different. So we're proud to tell you that FK, all in the car, teamed up with them. We appreciate them very much. Like I said, they're part of the team. And uh, let's, let's see if we can get some fuel pressure up to this baby. See if all of our gauges work. All right, guys, so I got you set up here. Can you see? Get the steering wheel out of the way. Um, we're going to see what kind of pressure we can get. Oil pressure, uh, fuel pressure, water pressure. Got a lot of pressures. 
Then we got some temps. We got water temp, oil temp. Let's uh, let's hit the old button. So we got oil pressure. Um, any leaks on anything? Now we got a little oil pressure. Looking over here, we've got uh, just this little closed loop deal for our uh, oil cooler. We're not going to have that on yet, so we just made us a little line to loop it around. Nothing coming out of the oil temp gauge. Nothing coming out up here, the oil pressure gauge. Looking good. All right, well, we need to grab a timing light. Oh, and if you guys have the multi-fire wires, this here um, is strictly for the timing, all right? It, it takes the jacket off of it and gives you just the, this wire here so you can get your timing light or uh, clamp around it real good. So cool deal they offer you there. Did you put every bit of fuel in it? So we're going to have to go out there and fill up one of them little jugs. Yeah, well. Okay. So I got to fill up a little squirter so I can fill the carburetor up. And we gotta get timing light, a couple other things. All right, y'all. So with this Super Bowl, you need to fill up the, uh, the vents here to fill up the. Well, I don't know if they're not float bowls, but they're, uh, yeah, because it doesn't have a float. But one of them. <laughs> Ain't getting much. Ain't getting much. Oh, baby, that's plenty there. So we've got fuel, we've got oil pressure, we've got water in there, we probably need to make sure that's tight. Yeah, it's not. Tighten that up. Hey, that's tight. i got a couple of wrenches here for the, all the AN fittings we have, so we can tighten them on the fly. These putting the radiator cap on it. Very tight. Mm-hmm. Like a Tyga. Got our headers on it. Um, we need to get our timing light hooked up. Don't know if it's a big deal or not, but I'm, like I said, I'm just going to grab a standalone battery for the timing light. I don't really have a good way to hook it up. I do. There's a solenoid in there, right there in the access panel. I can hook all that up. But I was hearing a story today about uh, using a standalone battery for your... Uh, let me grab this. Using a standalone battery for your timing. So we're just going to set this down here on the floor. Then we'll have we'll have that set up so we ain't got to worry about that there's that all hooked up all right got that we're ready to fire it ready to go ready to go ready to go see what happens yeah let's hear it yeah i'm gonna set you guys up we're gonna get going here here we go let's your where's my drink there. your oh. drink's over there okay Watch out for that. you ready I don't know that I'm ready, but I'm ready. <laughs> so, Chad, I'm calling you right now if you watch these videos. I'm calling you before you hit the button. All right? Almost forgot. Almost forgot. All right, y'all. Got the timing light. Ready to let her eat. And let's hit this button. <laughs> Nervous. That's a good sign. Give her a little pumpy pump there, bud. Start a heater. Yeah, it blowed all that stuff out of the headers. Yeah, it blowed all that stuff out of the headers there. All right, you ready? Up the vent in the front. These heat coming out of them quiz jennies. Mom, this is theirs. Huh? Yeah, it's slick. Thirsty, wasn't it? That slippery? I guess. Slick? Oh, that is slick. Watch. Oh, I like that. Okay. 